are now one week away from the Chinese Lunar New Year. A local community center is preparing with an art exhibition before their main event. News on ABC's Anthony Krlikowski joins us live in studio with more details. Good evening, Anthony. That's right, Cassie. Good evening. This is one of the biggest holidays in Asian countries, the Chinese Lunar New Year. For the Year of the Dragon, Albany's Chinese Community Center is going all out to include the capital region in the celebration, starting with art from China. The Yan Lu Qing Art Exhibition is celebrating traditional art originating from the Song and Ming dynasties. They are made using a method called half print, half paint. All these paintings are up for sale. A portion of the proceeds will go towards benefiting the Chinese Community Center, as well as the artists who live in Tianjin, a large city in China. They are the chubby, lovely, red cheeks babies. They carry the symbol of the, uh, such as dragon. It has the historical part, the children's in the uh, traditional costumes. President Wei Chin was born on the year of the dragon, and she says these years have a greater meaning than the other 11 represented by common animals. We just, as Asians, just have such a deep, deep love for dragons. It's not a day-to-day -day animal like a rat or a rooster, those weird things, but then it's a mysterious, powerful figure. This will be the first Chinese Lunar New Year recognized as a New York school holiday. The day falls on Saturday, February 10th this year, but next year, 2025, it'll fall on the Wednesday. So the kids will be snuggled at home, not going to go to school. Parents, please be ready for that. This celebration is only the beginning as the CCC's Lunar New Year Gala will welcome everyone to the Empire State Plaza. Chin herself preparing to be in the festivities. Everybody likes to be recognized. I think it's really important for everybody to know that there are other type of celebrations rather than Christmas and Thanksgiving that can be fun to everybody. The art gallery will be on tomorrow as well. For more details and information on this year's Lunar New Year Gala show, head over to News10.com. Reporting live in studio, Anthony Grolikowski, News 10, ABC.